Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking immense Great Danes. The Great Dane is one of the world's largest dog breeds. The record holder for the tallest dog was a Great Dane called Zeus that measured an astounding 111.9 centimeters from paw to shoulder. That's almost four feet tall. Thought to have descended from English mastiffs bred with Irish wolfhounds, the breed was used to take down wild boar in large hunting parties back in the 16th century. And there is even some evidence to suggest that similar types of dogs existed right back in ancient Greece. Today I am visiting celebrity model of the 70s, Jilly Johnson, at her beautiful Danes Lodge in Hertfordshire. Danes Lodge is a perfect name because inside it homes two beautiful and very large Great Danes. Wow, you are so big! Aren't you? Can I say hello, hello to Annika? Hello! Hi Julie, how are you? Lovely to see you! And you too! I love your dogs, aren't they Come gorgeous? Here, darling. And Dane's Lodge, was that named after your great day? Of course! Yes! Wow. It would have been too much of a coincidence. Yes, I know, I think I'd do that too, but I can't have Wolf Dog Lodge, I think my husband would leave me. Mm, maybe! <laughs> maybe! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> What's he doing? Come on. Uh, now he's getting a bit rough, is he? Is she going to squeak it? Yeah. Go on. Go on. Good boy. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> oh, you should be happy not to have testicles. Really, really sharp tail that's just yeah, yeah, like yeah. thwacking here. Every dame we've ever had just literally leans on you. Put their whole weight on you. Or sits on your lap. Yeah. They and love to sit on your lap. And how heavy is she? She is about 12 and a half stone. Wow. He's now, what, 15 stone, <laughs> nine pounds. <laughs> Welcome to Dane's Lodge. <laughs> Mini Dane's Lodge, I love it. It's brilliant. So in oh, here... they've got a little cozy Yes! And so in here... They've actually got infrared there. So, do you want to see their bedroom? They've got a bedroom. Of course. <laughs> Any self-respecting Great Dane has their own. Oh, room. I'd love to see them. Come Let's on see. through. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Delilah's oh, in her bed. My goodness. Oh, she's dribbling. Go she's on. already in there. Look yes. at this. Hello. Look at this bedroom. What's this? Oh, these are hey. great. These are better mattresses than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jilly, <laughs> your dogs are amazing. They're massive. But they're my babies. So he always sits on us. He actually sits on our laps. And she lies on my lap. And um, that's how we spend our evenings. We're having a quiet night in. We're covered in Dane. If somebody has a Great Dane and that you've got all this slobber, how do you get around that on a daily basis? You don't. Do you have to carry towels around with you? I and... always carry wet wipes and I've got a slobber towel. Have you ever had any bad experiences where they've just sort of shook their mouth and the slobber has just like regularly, covered your friends? Regularly. And... I mean, we did have a very, very posh dinner party. It was very grown up with lots of grown up people, very nicely dressed and he escaped, he jumped over the stable door and he came into the dining room and he went to visit everybody and this lady said, gosh, extraordinary dogs at the dining table. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. He had a big and, dog as well. <laughs> I know, he put his head right on the table and his chops were <laughs> oh, all over oh, the table. Like dinner plates. And as they left, the gentleman the Lord had over his cashmere jacket a big, long, slimy globule. <laughs> of course, their incredible height seems to be like one of the things that a Great Dane is known for, aren't they? That's what, right. How tall can they get? I mean, well, how big I think Hugo? Hugo, I haven't measured him, but I think he's quite big for a Dane. <laughs> quite big. <laughs> he is answer. a large Dane, 
But, you know, these Danes, I mean, they apparently came from Germany. Um, some people suggest that they came from Scandinavia before the Germans well, adopted Denmark. them. They were actually used by the Germans as hunting dogs to run and hunt with horses. Yeah, and weren't they supposed to hunt the wild boars? Well? Yeah, and the wild, the wild boar, boar was very ferocious, and they, yeah. they used to go with massive packs, didn't yeah. they, of these dogs? Wild boar and deer, apparently, they yeah. were supposed to bring down. So, but the, the, it originated all about yeah. 400 years ago. And I, I was reading about the breed as well, that the, the, the Great Danes that we have now are yeah. much more gentle versions of what they had back then. Yes. Because when they used to run to get the wild boar, the dogs would have to be quite aggressive, they'd have to be quite feisty. Yeah. And the Great Dane comes from crossing English Mastiff with the Irish, Irish wolf Wolfhound. Hound, which is fantastic. Isn't that incredible yes. when you think about yes. that? Um, so back then they would have had to have been much more of a hunting dog than they yeah, are now. Absolutely. And now they have a reputation, don't they, for being gentle giants. These are supposed to be really quite old breeds as well, yeah. because also um, apparently in Egypt there were some drawings of dogs that looked also very, very similar to oh, the like great the pharaohs. The, yes. yes. Having a puppy Dane is a full-time occupation. If anybody considering buying a Dane, they really need to be aware of certain issues. I mean, they are a full-time job. Imagine a, a Dane puppy that's not house trained. We've lost staircases and walls through teething. <laughs> um, I have completely had um, skirting boards replaced all wow. around the place. It's very, very difficult because, you know, think of any little dog, well, it's, it's magnified. You know, yeah. I mean, do they chew all their life, or is it just from no, when they were just, a puppy? Just like regular dogs. Okay. I mean, they just chew from puppyhood. We had a visitor once outside, and when they had those old-fashioned rubber bumpers, and my other Dane Digby, he was teething, and he actually removed the bumper <gasps> off this lady's car and walked up the drive with it. He, he's quite stubborn as well. Yeah. If you don't get on top of the training, yes. then you, you're going to end up with a 15 stone dog yeah. that won't move when you yeah. want it to move. They need a lot of maintenance. Mm. They need looking after. And of course, these breeds grow rapidly, don't mm -hmm. they? I mean, that's one of the things too that rapidly. Happens. Yeah, and they and their bones grow yeah. fast, don't yeah. they? In the first two years, mm. and it's important, isn't yeah. it, that people do not over-exercise the dogs in the first two years of their life. Mostly with all dogs, that's the case, but especially in giant breeds. Mm. It's really, really imperative that it's little and often, yeah. just a few minutes at a time, because as they're developing and the bones are soft, you can you can cause damage. Let's talk about the raised bowls yes. in particular, because of course, these are incredibly deep chested dogs mm. and they come up as on mm. the list as the number one dog yes. that can get bloat. And as we know, bloat is a very, very serious condition where the, the, the stomach and the intestine well, can fill with Mostly air. fatal. And twists. Yeah. And um, if you don't sort it out within like an hour of it happening, they can be dead, can't they? Absolutely. And yeah. Great Danes are prone yeah. to this condition. I'm always absolutely um, vigilant so that they don't have any exercise okay. before, an hour before they feed, and okay. at least an hour afterwards. So they're always resting. Right, so they have to keep very, very still mm. when they're eating mm. food. And um, your raised bowls are yeah. up to what the, the yeah. height of their mouth. Yes. Yes, okay, and I'll that just you. allows them to eat more carefully so they're not gulping in air, isn't it? We haven't really had a Dane live beyond eight, but I feel very confident that things are about to change because we've moved and changed to raw. What's been the disease or the condition that has meant that your Danes have died at eight? Well, we've had a very common complaint on two dogs, which was um, cardiomyopathy. Right, um, okay. That is very, very prevalent in Danes and Deerhounds and Dobermans and large breeds. Is it always fatal or can it be controlled? It's nearly always fatal. But they're, they're also prone to bone cancer. That yes, I've read. yes, yes. Um, is that maybe because of the fast growth of the bones, perhaps? Well, well I'm thinking along the same lines as you. I tend to think it could have something to do with that. Obviously, you've had walls and things chewed. Now, have you had anything broken? Because, of course, they're like big horses walking yes. around your house. Oh, everything. Have they smashed yes, things? Yes, we have had that tail. I mean, it takes off vases, lampshades and stands. If somebody, um, if somebody wants to have one of these dogs, mm. what sort of person should they be? You have to be at home. 
Mm. Absolutely categorically. They just need the companionship. Mm. Um, even if I'm going up the road to pop here, pop there, I'll take them in the mm. car. And do, do you need a big house? Because, I mean, obviously they're big dogs. Yes. But I, I bet there's some people with a small house think, oh, I, I could fit it in. Not a good well, idea. Well, you can if as long as you're out two or three times you a day. give them some walks and Absolutely. exercise and attention. Yeah. Well, it's, it's been amazing meeting your Great Danes. I think they're beautiful, beautiful dogs. They're certainly they unique dogs. You'll, you'll never see a dog quite like a Great Dane. No. If you liked this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and tune in every week to Animal Watch where I'll be traveling the country and sometimes the world. Um, doing brilliant episodes on dogs, wolves, wolf dogs, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now.